So hello everybody. So today I'm going to be ranking my top four favorite courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is by far my favorite Mario Kart and I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So let's do this. So my fourth place favorite course in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I have to give to the new Rainbow Road, and I mean, I just like the spacey kind of theme to it. All the Rainbow Roads have a, a more space-like theme, but I mean, if I pause the game right at the start, I'll pause it at the start. Hold on a second. If I pause it, if you you look and see like the ground underneath um the pause menu. You can see, like, it has like, this cool space station kind of thing, but still a rainbow road. And I know a lot of people don't like this, but, I mean, I kind of like this, um, like, space station kind of feel instead of the more magic-y kind of space kind of feel. And because of that, it just has to get um, a pretty, pretty solid fourth place. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I myself do. The anti-gravity, as you can see here, makes it pretty good. And it's hard, like just like that, yep. It's pretty hard. And you gotta drift very well around these turns. This glider lamp, I always like, lets you get a lot of coins. I like the extra detail here of you being able to choose your path so that you can get the most speed. And this, by far, is definitely my favorite section of it. So there are two split paths you can take, as you can see. And however, you can easily go around the corner there and do a massive jump off the track and then do another off the Oh, that was a bad jump. Sorry, guys. But you can still cut if you can do that well and not do what I just did. You can still get a lot of speed by doing it. And then you go out of anti gravity for a little at the start and finish. I honestly don't know why they did that. But then it just repeats. At each time you do it, it really just gets better. It stop firing me with items, guys. The music in this track is alright. It does the job, but it, it could be a little bit better. But it's a pretty good song. I mean, it just does the job of a normal rainbow road. I mean, really, that's all I really have to say about this. And uh, to make a little extra bit of detail, this, the, the conveyor belt changes each time. And so do the boost panel stuff. However, you can still choose whatever path you want to for the most speed, which I like, instead of being stuck on the left or right path, depending on the um, boost panel placing. Let's do a few more jumps. Take this one way more inside. I don't know how to jump today, guys. I really don't know how to jump today. I'm gonna stop doing try to a second jump, okay? It also is fun to see in the map and just in the normal track. See the trap kind of lap over itself with zero gravity. I always like tracks that are a majority zero gravity. I think that's kind of cool. And so anyway, the final lap, nothing changes. The music changes a little bit for the better, definitely. I mean, really and truly, this track is pretty good. If you get a purple boost there, like I just did, it's a little bit harder to stay on, as you can see. And the conveyor belt change again. It was, I still always like that. And then, oh come on! Now it's gonna knock me out of my glider. <laughs> okay, I like how the glider is fast there, so sometimes if something's targeting you, like just like that, it won't necessarily knock you out, which is my life. I'm not gonna go for the second jump here, guys, because that's a little risky. I'm just gonna go for the first jump. I didn't even have the first jump! I still get Mario Kart today, guys. I really do. And whatever. I'm not showing you like how good I have Mario Kart or anything. I'm just showing you my favorite four tracks. So then, finally, you just can come around here and finish in like negative placement like I'm gonna do apparently guys. Just hop over okay, there we go. Yeah, I stuck that thing, but I like that track a lot. It's a good breakup from the normal, just basic magic rainbow roads. And because of it, it definitely has to get a really pretty solid fourth place. So next up, my second favorite track. I easily have to give this one to Mount Wario. Mount Wario, I'll tell you like as we race down it, it's like Mount Wario 
is a, just a great track. I mean, the D it was my definitely my favorite before the DLC tracks came out. It might still be my favorite. So we start out in a helicopter and listen to the music, guys. I'll be quiet so you can listen to the music. I didn't get a boost. So if you're going at 200 CC, I'm gonna call it. If you're going at 200 CC and you get the good boost, then the music will go. It'll do that big trumpet blare right as you land. I just really like that extra little detail. So you have two split paths here. But I'm gonna do some coins. But this one I like to take. It's a little faster. The top one gives you coins there, but it still is slower and not and a little bit more dangerous. And if you take your drift really tight here, unlike what I'm gonna do, you could manage to cut across and not fall off. If you take it even tighter than I did. But still, even if you fall off, it saves a good chunk of little speed. In this section, there are a bunch of the paths, but my favorite is just to get on the bottom as fast as you can and to go down the rushing river because that just gives you some extra speed, which is nice. And you hit the top one has a glider on a, a, two split paths, but it's definitely my favorite on the bottom because it's a lot faster. Then we're in Wario's um, Dam now, which is named Wario Dam, as you can see the right. <laughs> Very nice name for a dam. Here's the one by a dude named Mario. People are targeting me with shells today. And this is by far my favorite section of the track. If these guys will leave me alone for more than five seconds. Anyway, this section of my track is my favorite. This is the um, forest section. There is a hidden boost panel in the middle there, or uh, sorry, a glider area. And there are like two split paths, also two split paths, which makes all kinds of cool stuff. These stumps are so fun to trick off of makes me so happy to trick off of those stumps. This one, there are multiple paths you can take. You can like be like me and accidentally run into a tree and like slow down a lot. Or you can also, however, manage to um what was I what was I even gonna say guys? I forgot. You can also go on the edge on the invert on the wall. But that's not a little more of a slope than a wall. And then you can um, manage to be safe but slow. So it's really up to you your choice. I think I might take first of the first, guys, so I can just get out of his way. This is uh, my, probably my second favorite section of the track. It is where you gotta go down these boost panels really fast, and just go through this glider ramp, which you can go through the rings if you're going, like, either have a mushroom or 200 cc, and then you can just go around this final little turn on somebody can cut with a mushroom so they can skip you right at the end, and there's the end of the track. I mean, it's a short little track. It's not incredibly short, but it's the shorter spectrum of the tracks. I love all the people cheering you on the stands at the end. It is a great track. All in all, just an absolutely fabulous track. So my next favorite track, this is one of the DLC tracks. So this one, I have to give the 3DS Rainbow Road. This one, like, you probably knew it was coming. This Rainbow Road really just, it has a more of a spacey theme, not like a modern space theme like the last Rainbow Road, but more of like a journey to the solar system. And just look at this road. It is like so good. And I forgot to mention, the music of Mount Laurie was all right. Nothing like incredibly great in my opinion, but it's pretty good. The music in this though is really pretty good. But I'll tell you when to listen to the music for the best part, definitely. In a second. So you go around these turns, and if you did a trick off them like I did, you can keep on drifting. It gets like a crazy purple boost. So you can go super fast. And then you can just trick off this random mushroom in the sky. I don't know why it's there, but I do like it. Trick off these bumps. Lots of tricking off of stuff. Go around a big turn. I also like the harder tracks. I like how there's not a bunch of guardrails on these tracks, which I like. This is a cool part. You get to go around the rings of a planet, and you can also hold your drift for a really long time to get a lot of speed. Then you can go on this glider ramp for this giant ring. And they, they, they place the boost panels here, so they're kind of hard to hit a little bit without falling off. Oh, like I just did. I probably wasn't. I was hitting the right card. Somebody lightning struck me. So, yeah. 
this is a fun section, the wavy road. See how far I could make it. I'm not gonna make it far, I don't think. I'm gonna try to make it all the way, guys. All the way. All the way. All the way. You can trick all that road, unlike what I did. I don't know why I didn't trick. Then you can have this cool next section where you can get around these change elements on the move. Then we have these custom conveyors. But listen to the change in the music, guys. The music just changed from like, just okay music now, to like, the really good music. I don't know what these songs are, I forgot, honestly, but they are really solid, and I love to listen to the final lap of this track. And, and in this final turn, you know, even with the, I was gonna say, even with the anti-gravity, it still was an impressive turn. With a new anti-gravity though, it still is pretty impressive, and I did not do it well. I think people are ready to catch up to me. Imagine getting hit with a shell right here. <laughs> well, anyway, that track, I really just like that track. The music in the final lap of that track, when you did here, it was great. The music in this next track, though, I think it's a little bit better. I'm gonna turn on the volume so you guys can hear. Because this next track is by far my favorite in all of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That one still is, all of these are really solid tracks. My favorite. I gotta give it to Big Blue. I really do. I really have to give my favorite to Big Blue. Big Blue's music is great. Big Blue's whole track thing is great. I love the underwater physics of the track too. So you can make all kinds of crazy jumps in the second lap. I'll show you. The ending in the spaceship is so cool. Everything about this track is so cool. It's a great track. So you start off with all these item boxes here. There's a turn here you can drift off of. And there's also these panels that give you infinite coins when you land on them. So you can like get a bunch of coins at the beginning of the race and they're super fast. And the whole race is in zero gravity, which I like. Then you can choose to get more coins or to go faster. I like to be faster usually because I try to get coins in the first thing. Then I'm gonna keep this mushroom for later. I'm gonna need it for later. As long as somebody doesn't steal it. Then they have bunches of these conveyor belts, which I honestly kinda like a lot. You can also cut this with a little bit with a mushroom. And I forgot, I was gonna skip down to that section of the track, but I forgot lack of you can they save you there, so you can't do that. You have a few more coins, you can get and plant a bomb here so nobody will Then you have the rushing river. Don't hit me with the mushroom, no, I don't, I, no, 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 stop. Okay, I was already, but this part, you can just do this. Because of the underwater pit, you can make that whole jump and skip that whole section of it. And 200 EC, you can skip basically this whole, all of this underwater section and land right about here where I am now. The rushing river is a great section. Lots of speed. Then you get thrown through these like blast cannon things. And there's a boost panel right there. Then you get to, then you have to stay on the great conveyor belt, so this giant conveyor belt section. If you don't do it perfectly, it's okay because um, there still are some boost panels. And there also now is an upside down track where we're just above the water, which is really cool. And this next section, it is definitely the best to take the green track. I'll show you guys in a sec. Because here's what you can do. You can just stay like this normally. I'll hold this and nobody can hit me with anything. Then you can just come on here. I did not do that right. I did not do that right at all. Okay, I did not do that good, but still, now we go straight up and go to that final finish in the giant spaceship. I mean, this is just a great track. There is nothing wrong with this track. The music is great. Like, look at the background of the spaceship. It's so detailed. Everything is just really and truly a great track. So those are my top four tracks in Mario Party Deluxe. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I mean, thank you so much for watching if you watched all the way to end. And signing off for now, God bless.